back again with another new tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back again with another new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you this logo right here. How I did it in Adobe Illustrator. I finished with this sketch as you can see I just finished it right now so right now we're gonna bring it to life together all right so let's get started first thing I did is to lock it up right make it a little bit bigger like this bring it above here lock it up now you reduce the opacity first bring down the opacity bring down the opacity just like this right you lock it back then you make sure you create a new layer then you save it you name it logo right so make sure you're standing right here so i'm going to use this tool to make the line work right the name of the tool as you can see is curva curvature i'm using this tool right it's just right here uh opposite the pen tool right so i'm not using the pen tool i'm using this tool so let's get started i'm starting with the 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 first face you know like the the face first all right so make sure you just follow exactly how I'm making my line, right? Just follow me exactly what I'm doing here. Let's turn on the, the fuel. We don't need the fuel. We need only the stroke for now. Don't worry about this, we'll work on it a little bit. Don't worry about this, we'll work on it later. Alright, let's finish with the sketch first. I'll make sure you select it, then you go to Object, Lock, Selection. Right, so you go to, you select it first, Object, Lock, selection right so you lock it right now it cannot move so that it will help you to to continue with your line work all right just follow exactly what i'm doing right here this is going down just like this right here here just like that all right that all right guys you know he you just have to all right guys you know it requires a little bit practice you know the more you do it the more you learn just take your time i know you can do it don't worry about my line work it's kind of rough right now because we're gonna fix it a little bit so let me fix it right now so that uh, i'll know exactly what i'm doing all right i'm gonna fix it right quick all right something like this and make sure you go to this tool direct selection 
then you click this anchor point that you you see this then you bring it inside a little bit so that it will not be too much sharp you know i like this shape so make sure you come back here again you do something like this all right so same thing over here all right that all right the legs It's easy guys, just take your time, I know you can do it. If you're not familiar with the with this tool I'm using, you can use the pen tool, don't worry. I don't like this shape here, I got to delete it by selecting the add, uh, sorry, the delete anchor point. I'll click it, boom, because I don't need it. So, we back here. This is another one, so we don't need this. We delete it right here. So just take your time. I use both. I use direct direction. I use a uh, direct selection. I also use the the anchor point tool i'm very much familiar with the the anchor point tool and the direct direct direction tool. is it direct hold up direction direct selection damn all right anyway all right uh this is where we, we we've gotten so far this is our line so we make sure we we keep going right i'm not happy with this line let me do it let me do it very well uh, you know like if you're not happy with your line don't worry you can just follow me exactly what i did you know i wasn't happy with, with it so i was like i have to do it again you know just like i told you the more you do it the more you learn you know gotcha Go back to the anchor point, just twist the line, you know, just take your time, I know you can do it, that's right, back to direct selection, just follow exactly what I am doing, bring this down a little bit like so like so yeah so these two anchor point i think i have to delete one of them all right so far this is where we are let me connect this with uh, this line perfect and let's work on this one remember it was it was locked so go back to object unlock all so go back to the anchor point I'm using the anchor point 
with the direct selection tool uh, together. You know, I'm using the anchor point. I'm using the anchor point with the direction selection together. You have to follow me along. But anyway, you can find, you can use what is best for you, you know. This is how I make my line, you know. Whatever. So continue tracing. Let's unlock the line. Object lock selection. Go back to the tool and just follow exactly what you can see. Just trace it. Trace it. Just like that. Remember when you're using this tool to trace at the image, uh, anytime you reach the end of uh, the end of your the end of anytime you reach this kind of places like any place that is you know looking kind of sharp like this you make sure you double click it like right here you know yeah follow exactly what you can see you know If you're not familiar with the with this tool, don't worry. I'll be making a video on how you can use it. One one thing I did now for I forget to introduce you is that when you sell you see your line work is now is kind of messy is now is not straight line you can select it and then go to this tool smooth tool before when you open it you see this you see this first make sure you right click then you go down you, you choose the smooth tool right then you make sure the lines work has been selected and then this is what it does you know it's making your lines much more smoother right It's a great tool i really love it and i always use it for my work So far, so good. This is what we achieved. So right now we're gonna need to uh, draw the eye. So the eye, the eye. I'm just using the ellipse tool. Just drag and drop it like this, and you turn it. duplicate it then make this one smaller because this we're gonna fill the black color in it all right so that's right 
so far so good this is what we just achieved i'll make sure i select everything uh hold up you select everything uh let's make the line with the two two lines so that we can see what we are drawing what we're working on you know so next thing we need to draw is this flowers you know so this is how i drew these lines these flowers sorry sorry uh i use the the same tool to sketch just uh, i did this This is what I did. I lock it first. Remember lock selection. And I click here. I make a line like this. Right? Then. Yeah, it's kind of curve, curvy make sure you double click that that place and you just follow the line you know don't worry about that we'll correct it later let's first keep drawing If you have a tablet, graphic drawing tablets, it's really, really sweet. I recommend you to trace with that, you know, because if you check some of my work, you know, like if you just check some of my video, you will see me drawing with the, the graphic tablets. I draw with the graphic tablet, but you need to work on the to use the the pen tool to you know to help you out in case you don't have it you don't have the, the graphic tablets you know what i mean so just learn both you know Just keep tracing, All right? So this is looking kind of messy. So make sure you select it. You go to smooth tool, then you try and make it look a little bit nicer. It's not that pointy you know like sharp i need to make it look like something like this let me redraw it gotcha Thing is looking all right now so next thing is to write to draw these lines you can see over here right this is what i just did right click transform reflect you this box will pop up make sure you select vertical then you click copy This is what I did. I think it's too long. Let me reduce it a little bit. It's looking great. So 
I'm not going to draw again. I'm just duplicating the, the line so that to not waste our time. I think the too long. Let me, uh, something like this. Right click, transform, reflect, copy. Do the same over here, just duplicate it, rotate it, and that's the result. The reason why I'm doing this because it's already there. We're going to fix it later. That is why I'm just, you know, duplicating that. Uh, one more thing. We forgot to make this place look kind of curvy. So remember, I'm using the anchor point. Just do this, right? That's right. So far, so good this is where we are all right so uh next thing we have to do now uh forget about this i uh, like it i think i like it like this all right so we're going to make this this line inside this shape that you can see in inside so first of all we're starting with this That's right. Uncle point. Now, now I'll use the the direct selection. Make sure to bring. Sorry, select here. Bring it down like this. So it to be. It's it to be kind of uh, curvy. You know? Just like that. All right, I'm happy with that. So I'll just right click and then I'll go to transform, reflect, copy, bring it over here. So now let's use the, the ellipse tool to make this shape, these circles. just duplicate them that's right so far this is where we are All right so now we're gonna paint the we're gonna paint our penguin our logo we're gonna paint him up and we will see the results the results all right so now we don't need this this picture anymore for now we'll get back to it later so i'm going to just off it for for now so because i want to make a circle so i'm selecting these flowers and and i'll put it right above here i'll get back to it later because i want to create the the lips the circle you know what i mean right so make sure your circle is really really you know perfect all right so you don't need the the stroke for now we off it we need the the fill color with uh, this color, not too white, but this color, right? Right here. 
so this is what i did uh, i create a new layer because i want to put this back background at the you know back of the logo so this is what i did uh, i put it down here so it's at the back of it and i select it i duplicate it like like this all right and i just expand it a little bit like this and i change the color of it bring it at the back here so that you get this beautiful looking shape right so next thing we need to blend this color by going here and i'm blending it with two color you know, just watch me i'm selecting the black and here i'll put the orange color make sure it's kind of really orange and for the white i'll give it red that's right this is exactly what i needed all right so let's just work on it a little bit make it look much more nicer it's looking great all right so next thing we need to paint this logo our penguin right uh make sure you, you are on this tool you just select it and then you you know double click here and then you just boom paint right another way to paint you just you know pick any color whatever you just choose you paint it right so i'm not going to use this technique because you know i want to show a new way to do it so this is how it was right so you make sure you select hold on make sure you select it then you choose this to shape builder then you just uh click in it why did nothing happen because you can see your fuel color nothing is inside so you need to to choose the color you want to feel let's say we're feeling blue just an example just click boom you get your color right so i think bluetooth is looking well but we're gonna give it a black color you know so uh that was just you know an, another way how to feel the color so uh let's get back to the video right so this is uh what i did i select it I make sure the color is black no stroke i don't need any stroke right so now let's fill this color too by just clicking here and remember what i told you we're gonna fill this place to to black you select it first it's been selected take the shape builder just fill it now you select this you take the shape builder make sure you select your color because here we're going to give it a white color here that's it so make sure to put black over here too this is what we got so so far so good this is where we are our logo is looking much more nicer now so now this is what i, I do so now next thing let's select these flowers and put it over here and let's fill this to 
to any color for now with no stroke sorry with no stroke make sure to bring this to at the back of this circle so right click it go back to the layers and this is what i did you bring it back to this layer and make sure it's at the back of everything here right and you lock it up for now so this is what we have right so now uh make sure you select this and this circle you go to properties and you click unite unite voila this is what we get so far so now let's work on the let's work on these leaves uh, let's change the the look of it by selecting all of these lines we need to make it look more attractive by going here change the brush of it uh, the uniform brush by going yeah let me let's make it look something like this i think it's looking great make sure you bring all this at the back here put these lines also at the back select them all put them over here all right is now at the back So let's give them the colors. give it give them a nice looking color i don't need a stroke just copy this color and pick the colors over here and this and this i'm going to give them uh one should be should have green and one should have this orange color All right so far so good i don't like that green color so far so good this is where we are and make sure you select everything make it a little bit smaller so that we're going to put the name
so guys this is where we are now so the last thing it remains for us to do is to to put the logo name above it so it's going to be kind of a circle shape over here all right so i'll create a new layer for that i lock everything here then i use the the pen tool then i did this i do this then then i i do this right i don't need the fill i need only a stroke with the with the with two points now one point right that's right so now watch carefully i use the uh expand this uh text tool and select the type on a path right you make sure you select it you just click here and you start typing your logo name so this logo name has been requested for uh one of my clients i have all my details that she gave to me so this is what i am putting right here i'm coming it's too small let's uh make it bigger so uh color plant change the i love using frankly heavy it's really great i just love it Make sure it's uh, at the center, like this. All right, we bring it down a little bit. Select the text and change the fill color of uh, this nice blue. All right, so far there we are. So far, so good. This is uh, the logo has been created. As you can see, the logo is just looking so perfect. All right. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please go do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that next time when we do upload the video you will not miss that video i hope the class was fun and please don't forget uh do the same thing that we just learned in this video and do send me on my gmail account if you check the description you're gonna see my my gmail account just send me your work to that gmail account Thank you very much again and I will see you in the next class.